And now all of a sudden you have this AI, which yeah, sure, probably is creating a ton of technical debt, but does it matter? Because AI can just go in and I don't know, either clean it up or just just as long as the the, the output is what we want. Maybe it's uh, oh, I know what happened. A, a friend of ours, a friend of I think Ray's, generated a simple tool, a web based tool. And it was like tens of thousands of lines of code. And when Ray asked him, like, how much, why does it have this much code? He was like, why does it matter? Who cares? It was generated by AI, but it's getting the job done. And w- there was this back and forth about, yeah, yeah, but who's going to have to maintain this later? <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. What's your take on AI generating lots of technical debt? It's a, it's a little bit scary. I mean, you know, like, I think the promise there would be that, that, uh, you know, that we can find the problems somehow or other. The problems get reported. Right. We, we uh, tell the agent, hey, you know, you got to fix this and it does it. Right. And, right. Then, and we never have to go into those tens of thousands of lines and, and correct them. If we ever do, then I think that's a failure. Right. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a problem. The, uh, the really scary part, of course, would be that uh, some flaw is introduced that gets us hacked. Right. And, and we lose the farm. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, or something like that, or, or, or suffer sure. reputational harm in some way. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I haven't done that yet. I have heard, I've also heard of people doing things like, oh, I had, you know, a hundred thousand lines of Java code that nobody wanted to touch and I pressed a button and now it's, you know, 10,000 lines of Golang <laughs> yeah. or, you yeah. know, whatever, or some, <laughs> right. something, something that, that people like now. I've heard some dream stories like that too. That's pretty awesome, man. I, I, yeah, I haven't done it myself, so um, I, I have to be a little bit skeptical, skeptical. <laughs> in, until I see it, uh, yeah. until I experience it, and yeah. um, I mean, that would be magical. Yeah. The, the main thing that I'm thinking about, because, um, you know, I've got some tech debt, of course, uh, and I do, like, you know, I think, I think using chat agents to say, okay, well, um, the the team should have written this as a service, but instead it's in 75 places in the code base. Hey, can you find all those places, right? Can, yeah. can, can you help me to, I'm, I'm doing this refactor and this is what I need. Uh, that might be a really great opportunity there yeah. because, you know, searching code is, is, is hard for humans. Yeah. Um, the other one that the thing that I'm most interested in, in getting started on that I haven't yet is um, can I, can I do some good test automation Hmm. Uh, using AI, hmm. um, something that is. What do you think about that? Well, I, I think there's a great promise there, honestly, because yeah. because now you've got um, agents uh, that can act that that you know can understand a web interface, right? Exactly. Uh, that can uh, follow human instructions, right? So yeah. anybody mean, could blow could selenium say, out of the water, like you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Theoretically, and, yeah. and, and the, the, the problem with something like Selenium and, and you know, or Cypress or like these yeah. tools that, that we spend a lot of time using is that they're, they're brittle. They break so easily. Right. But if you if you got an agent that can understand, okay, the you button the page. Moved, yeah. but my requirement isn't where the button is. I found the button, I pressed the button and, right. you know, and, and that, yeah. and then maybe if something doesn't work, it can actually give you, well, this is what I tried and this is what I ended up with. Yeah. Uh, and um, you know, like I think there, there, there's a lot of promise there and, yeah. you know, I'm sure that some people have already unlocked that. I have not Excuse myself. Me. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested in, in what we can do and, and how much time we can save or, uh, once, once yeah. we unlock that. 